Hi, this is Linda Ruth from PSCS. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to market your newsstand launch. How to get your magazine into the chains. You're going to be working hand in hand with your national distributor to get into the highest quality retail outlets you can find. How do you know what the highest quality retail outlets are? They're the ones who sell many copies of the closest competitors you have. In general, great retail outlets for magazines tend to be great retail outlets for magazines. Every now and then, a publisher will say, oh, my magazine shouldn't be in Walmart, for example. And they might be right. I do know a few magazines that shouldn't be in Walmart. Not many, though. Walmart is 15% of all magazine sales. Or a publisher might say, my magazine shouldn't be in supermarkets. If that's the case, you likely have a magazine which is best for bookstores only, bookstores and specialty retailers, because supermarkets still make up about 40% of the magazine business in the country. Many magazines should probably not be in convenience stores, which tend to sell few copies per outlet, one copy or less per outlet, and at lower efficiencies, often 20% efficiencies or less. However, there are some magazines that do belong in convenience stores and should try very hard to get a good distribution into convenience stores. In order to get the retail outlets, you need to develop an authorized list. What that means is going out to the chain buyers, the buyer for that retail chain who is responsible for selecting the magazines carried by the chain, and get that buyer to sign off on your publication. To do that, you need two things. One is a good sell sheet, a sell sheet representative of what your magazine is going to be like, what it's going to look like, what it's going to feel like, what the production values are going to be like, and then you need time. Many people say you need five to six months to properly market a magazine, and I'll tell you why that would be the case. Your national distributor makes calls, buying calls on chains, according to a schedule. Some chains only want the national distributor marketing manager to call on them once a quarter. If you've missed that quarter's marketing call, you might have to wait for the next quarter. So make sure that there is time for your national distributors, marketing representatives, to get to all the chains you want. Some chains will not accept your magazine without seeing the first issue, or at the very least, a prototype. So you might want to make a handful of what we call dummy copies of your magazine, sample copies, showing the number of pages, the kind of production values, the paperweight, the, the percentage of four color. Make a half dozen, 20, even 50 dummy copies and give them to your national distributor to take out. You have a better chance of getting distribution into Albertsons and Safeway and a number of other chains with that dummy as a selling tool. You also might want to allocate a certain number of promotions dollars to the effort. Again, there are some retailers that will not seriously consider your magazine unless you're willing to offer either an additional 5% RDA the first year or perhaps participate in a feature pocket or some other kind of promotion sometime during the first year to support the launch. Find out what those chains are. If they're important to you, then do what it takes to get them. Thanks, and I'll be back with some more tips.